and a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. The first presidential debate dissolves into a contentious confrontation between President Donald Trump and Democratic challenger Joe Biden. The first face-off sparking an even bigger massive debate on social media, with many calling it one of the worst debates ever. And critics are taking aim at the comments from both nominees. CBS 4's Laura Podesta is live in Cleveland this morning with some of the most talked about moments from last night. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Maribel. It was a wild ride. A lot of people saying they were stressed out or they were annoyed by the debate. A recent CBS News poll said that the vast majority of viewers, though, already had their mind made up about who they're going to vote for as they watch the debate, which is a very good thing because at times the candidates were talking over each other so much you could barely hear them answer the moderator's questions. There was little order throughout much of the first presidential debate. The, the question Supreme is, Court Justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, on, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so right. Gentlemen, is, I think this we've is ended so this. He's going to pack the court. We have ended. We're not no, no. going to give a list. President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden were asked about six topics. The first was the open Supreme Court seat. We won the election. Elections have consequences. Biden said President Trump's nominee, Judge Amy Coney Barrett, will vote to dismantle the Affordable Care Act. He won't ever look you in the eye and say that's what he wants to do. Take it away. No, I want to give you better three. health care. The two then clashed over the handling of the coronavirus pandemic. The same man it's who all told set you up. by Easter this would be gone away. He wants to shut down this country. Oh. And I want to keep it open. At times, President Trump tried to focus on Biden's family. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know, got Bo. Thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. A CBS News poll found 69% of viewers felt annoyed by the debate. 48% thought Biden won, while 41% say the president did. He just pours gasoline in the fire. Late in the debate, President Trump was asked to disavow white supremacy, leading to perhaps the most controversial and buzzed about response of the evening. Stand back and stand by. The next presidential debate is scheduled for October 15th. And the question of the integrity of the election also came up. Former Vice President Joe Biden reminded people to register to vote and to head to the polls on November 3rd. President Trump pushed once again the unverified claim that many mail-in ballots are fraudulent. Maribel. Laura Podesta, thank you. Live from Cleveland, Ohio. And the next debate is one week from today when the vice presidential candidates meet in their only debate in Salt Lake City. Then the president, the presidential candidates are scheduled to come here to Miami to debate on October 15th at the Adrian Arts Center, followed by their final debate in Nashville on October 22nd.